the following contains one spoiler from one of manga's most successful authors that brought you one manga about one pirate king with only one treasure who left it in one place enough for one person to become the one comes the anime adaptation that's probably never gonna end during your lifetime featuring good storytelling interesting fights tits tearjerker tits heartwarming tits shitty character designs tits flashbacks tits snots tits dbz tits and oath of the peach garden for romance of the three kingdoms one piece it's the pirate anime where pirates can't can swim unless you're ridiculously strong you just fuck Roger and devil fruit users hockey forever bitches it teaches not one not two but three generations that pirates good marines bad even after 700 plus episodes 12 movies and 15 years of runtime we still don't know shit about devil fruits origin seriously get on board with the most diverse crew in history except black people she's close but after her cosmetic surgery during the time skip i don't think so luffy gold d roger jr literally he travels the world just to lick roger's footsteps and redo everything roger has ever done nami whose purpose is to ensure that the crew doesn't turn homo assuming they haven't already who wields medusa's powers that will turn any man hard just by looking at her zoro lost direction man so strong he can cut steel ships and kraken but not giants sanji mr prince every female's little bitch the only one to achieve his goal usopp a liar with the long nose power to traumatize kids chopper the doctor who can't cure his shyness and uses steroids. Robin, the fan secondary source of titties. Frankie, Coca-Cola product placement. Brooke, who's there thanks to Michael Jackson. Roger, who acquired everything the world had to offer except life. Shanks, so strong, but with so little screen time because when he did get screen time he lost an arm and who could blame him for going over to fairy tale to find a job you've only brought yourself one piece everyone else is either too unimportant or useless they just call out the savior's name But never fear, the MC is protected by plot armor. They'll win against impossible odds even if the enemy is 70 times 7 more powerful. With the power of retardation, Conqueror Hockey. Which conquers absolutely nothing besides hacking people's minds, knocking them unconscious. You know, the power that Mr. Gat has. Still get excited for the adventure that isn't just long. It's overly repetitive and predictable. The Straw Hat sails island to island. Conflict. Yada yada yada. Flashback. Yada yada. Luffy beats up the bad guy. Yada yada yada. Make friends. Yada yada yada. Big feast. Yada. Yada what? On to the next island. Yada yada yada. And the cycle begins again. Now, deal with its countless subplots and unnecessary arcs that has absolutely nothing to do with the main storyline. It bored viewers to death by dragging on forever, refusing to end when given the chance. Guild Arts, Pinocchio, Rudolph, Medusa, Mr. Majin Fantastic, Gorilla Lardass, Usopp Land, Storm. Oh shit! That's creepy. Strongest straw hat. <laughs>
Come on, somebody cut something. One piss. Spoiler alert, they're still searching. Note, never watch 4Kids version. If you don't get emotional while watching One Piece, you're likely dead inside. I mean, come on, look at all the obnoxious snots.